Hi, good day. So on this video, I'm going to cover joining Windows 7 and Windows 10 clients to a domain. Okay, so in our case, our domain is named Santelmo domain or Santelmo.net domain. All right, so what's the objective for this video? So at the end of the video, you should be able to join Windows 7 clients to a domain and also you should be able to join your Windows 10 clients to a Santelmo domain. Now what are the prerequisites required? First, you have to ensure that you are using an, admin, uh, an account with administrative privileges on local computers like as uh, administrator. Okay. Next is you have to ensure that the clients are configured with an IP address, okay, as is specified on the topology presented. You have to ensure that the workstation names are based on the company's naming convention, like Santelmo Z01 and Santelmo Z02 for the clients. You also have to set the DNS IP address of the clients to the IP address of the DNS server. So in this case, that is 192.168.1.1. All right. So again, presenting our topology on this video. So we are done with the configuration of this Windows Server 2019 here in the previous video that we had. Okay. And we assign it an IP address 192.168.1.1. Also, we, al we also have configured these two clients here with the previous video and we assigned an IP address 192.168.1.10 and 192.168.1.11 respectively. All right. So also on the previous video, we set the fully qualified domain name to sanselmo.net. Okay. So let's start. Let me open my server here. Okay. Let me start with the server. Okay. So on our server, we already have configured the ADDS and the DNS because the file and storage services are by default selected. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to ensure from the server. Okay, let me close the server manager for now. Okay, so I'll have to open here my CMD to ensure that I can ping the client. Okay, so CMD here. right so also i have to do the same with the clients okay so let me do it first to the server so let me ping okay so the first client which is 192 okay 168 1.10 so this pertains to our windows 10 client all right so let me ping also my windows 7 client which is 192.168.10 1.11 so that means the server is able to ping the two clients okay now let me open my second computer here which is the windows 10 okay so on the windows 10 so this is powered by windows 10 here okay so let me open the cmd here okay and let's close this one so ip config here so this is 1.10 so let me ping the server so let us ping it by ping okay so that's 192.168.1.1 so this is the server so we can ping it let's also ping the second workstation before we start with the configuration so ping 192.168.1.11 all right so we can ping also the windows 7 client all right now let me open my uh windows 7 client okay and let me start my cmd also in here pinging the server at 192.168.1.1 all right and being also 192.168.1.10 so 
So we have the entire connectivity here. Okay. Now, before we proceed with demo, we have to ensure that the entire network is synchronized with the same time. Okay. So we did the configuration of the time on the server on the previous video. We have to ensure that we will also synchronize the time of the clients onto the server. All right. So let's start with Windows 7 here. Let's check the time here. Okay. So time is 11.26. Are we under the correct time zone here? Change time and date. Okay. So it's correct there. Okay. So how about the time zone? I'll close this. Okay, so cancel this one. Time zone. Okay, so this one is correct. All right, close. Okay, so let's do it also on the second workstation, which is our Windows 10 client. Okay, so on the Windows 10 client, let me close this one. So let's check the time here. So it's not synchronized. Okay. So um, change the time and date. So we need to change it. So right click on the time here and then adjust time and date. So take note this is set to minus eight. So it should be plus eight. Alright. So go down, set it to plus eight. So let's choose Kuala Lumpur and Singapore there. Alright. So we're done okay so let's move on to the server let me open the server here okay so it's 11 28 11 28 here and also let's open the windows 7 which is also 11 28 all right now that we have synchronized the time let's go ahead on the server so what we're going to do on this demo is to join this Windows 7 and Windows 10 clients onto the domain, okay? And we could check that if we have successfully joined these clients onto the server by going on the server manager. So let me open my server manager again here. All right. Okay, so while waiting, let's go back to Windows 7 here. Take a look at our Windows 7. So by going to computer, right click on it properties all right so take note that the computer are still part of the work group okay and the san telmo z02 there is still the computer name and it's not yet joined onto the domain all right so next on windows 10 let me open my windows 10 there okay so on windows 10 let's double check this this is not yet joined onto the domain all right so on this pc right click properties so if you will observe still this is part of the work group all right now let's join it onto the domain let's go back to the server first okay so on the server we would like to see it being part of the domain by uh, open the tools here okay Open the tools and then click on Active Directory Domain or Active Directory Users and Computers. Okay, so we want to see these two workstations here registered onto the domain after the joint process. Okay, so click on santelmo.net there, computers. So initially, we don't have computers. Okay, so being part of the santelmo.net domain. Okay. So let's start with Windows 10 here. Now going back to the Windows 10 client. So let me just close this. So we are going to join this computer onto the domain. Okay. So how? So you could go ahead and click on this PC here. Right click properties. Okay. So click on this computer name, domain and work group settings. So change setting. Okay. So this is for Windows 10. All right, so next is we are going to join a domain, okay? So to rename the computer or change its domain, 
or work group so click change here all right so you could have now the time to change also the computer name if it conforms with the standard or the acceptable uh, naming convention of the organization so what we're going to do is to join this windows 10 client onto the domain so click on domain and type in santelmo.net but then before that you have to ensure that these clients are set with the dns ip address of that server are we done with that no i guess not yet so let's go ahead first and check that configuration all right so right click on this open network settings so go to the ethernet right properties so we need to ensure that we have that preferred dns server all right so we have to set it to 192.168.1.1 all right so hit ok close close all right now we can go ahead and join this computer onto the domain so that is santelmo.net okay hit ok now if you have seen this computer name or domain changes so that means we have contacted the dns and we want to supply the administrator and its password to join to the domain santelmo.net so this password is okay and then hit okay right so you have here welcome to santelmo.net domain hit okay okay so after that of course your workstation will restart okay hit okay here and then close okay so um, take a look at this one so the computer name now is santelmo z01.santelmo.net so that would took effect after you started or restarted the computer so we need to restart this for the process to complete okay so but then before we restart this one I just want to show you here okay that on the active directory users and computers on our server we just have to refresh here so right click refresh and your santelmo c01 workstation is already in there so that means it has successfully joined the domain all right so before we restart the windows 10 okay let's go ahead and configure the windows 7 client so same process so go to start you could go ahead and click on my computer there all right and then properties so in here computer name domain and workgroup settings so click on change setting and then we want to change the membership and we want it to be part of the domain but then again before this one we have to check that this computer has been configured with the dns so hit on the local connection properties there okay so we don't have yet the dns now type in 192.168.1.1 which is the ip address of the server or the dns server all right so hit okay here okay close okay let's close this one and go back to this so let's type in the domain which is santelmo.net all right hit okay now you should be able to contact the dns by prompting us with the username so we're talking about the username on the server so in that case we are using the administrator's account okay administrator and the password is of course our own password okay netman01 here hit okay okay so i guess we're done so after this of course same thing with windows 10 your computer needs to be restarted so hit okay here all right close this so we need to start or restart this machine so but then before that let's go ahead on the server and check it right click here and then refresh so we have successfully joined these two workstations onto the domain all right so let's go back to the client and let's restart this okay so we need to close this restart i restart 
also with Windows 10. All right, so let me open my Windows 10 here. And we also need to restart it. Restart now. We accidentally hit restart later here. Let's go ahead and restart this. All right, so let's go back first on Windows 10 here, okay, so which is the Santel Mosi 01, okay, so if you'll observe here, okay, so Santelmo here is our local account, our local user, okay, so if you click on other user here, okay, so we have now here a sign in to Santelmo, which is our Windows domain, okay, so if you have an account on the server, or registered account on the server we could go ahead and type in here the username and the password okay so we will be using this demo okay or video as a continuation also of the next activity that we're going to perform okay for now we are just going to leave it that way all right so also on Windows 7 let's go ahead and try to see the login here okay so we can go on action and then control alt delete here okay so if you'll observe okay so we have here the santelmo c02 which is the local computer name and of course the local username santelmo but if you are going to click on the switch user here and try to click on other user by default now we have here a log on to santelmo domain or santelmo.net domain okay same thing with Windows 10. If you have a registered account on the domain or on the domain controller, we can use it here and supply your password so that we could be able to log in. Again, this video will become the prerequisite of the next video that we're going to do. All right. So I hope you find this video informative because in here we have just successfully joined Windows 10 and Windows 7 clients to the domain. You can also join other versions of Windows like Windows 98, all right or if you still have using windows 98 okay you also have the windows xp the windows 8 okay same process applies on those versions all right so again this will be the end of my video thank you so much and i hope that you have learned something from this have a great day